Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects quick tip scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a script that can edit and update expressions using just a script. So what we're going to be looking at is how to inject uh, information into the middle of an expression and then piece it back together. And we're just going to be going over different ways we can manipulate text and basically expressions to do different things we want. So in my case here, I have a simple comp setup where I have this square magenta solid with a wiggle on its position, so it's just moving around. And I have another expression on the opacity, which basically takes the Y position, multiplies it by a number, and subtracts that from our opacity to give us a varying opacity as we wiggle around. So it creates this nice ghostly effect that becomes more visible as it increases uh, on the Y and X axes. And what we want to be able to do is just change this value that's 0.2 inside of here. And with our script, we're just going to be able to put in whatever value we want. Let's just say 0.01. And when we hit edit, it will update our uh, expression to be whatever that is. And we can continually update new values. And this will produce a different result, of course, depending on your expression and setup. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for code updates and also down there, follow us on Instagram for live updates as well. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, be sure to join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And help support the channel and become a YouTube member by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Get cool perks and help us out. So we're gonna be creating a fairly simple script today. The idea is to have an input, which has a new uh, piece of information we want to put in or inject into our expression. And we want to simply hit the edit button and be able to uh, update our uh, expression to have that new data. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by creating a new JavaScript file. And we're gonna create this super simple UI first thing. So first I'll create a var called window. We'll set this equal to a new window. First argument for our window is gonna be the type, which is a palette window. The name we're gonna call edit expression. And we're gonna give it undefined size so it auto populates. Then because I just have two elements, I have this edit text box and this edit button. I'm just gonna put everything in the window group and I'm gonna set the window group from top to bottom by setting window.orientation equal to column. And then I'll create my uh, edit text which will be equal to our window. We're gonna add an edit text element, undefined size, and we're going to set the default edit text at maybe 0.2, because that's the value I've been using for this. And then I'm going to set a custom size on it. I can actually do it by the characters. So I'll do edit text.characters, and we wanna be able to fit in about five characters. Then we'll create our edit button. Uh, this will be equal to our window, and we're going to add a button, undefined size, and we'll call it edits. Now we can just grab our window and center it, and our window and show it, and when we run it, it should look pretty much exactly the same as previous. Now we need to make an on click for our button. So we'll say edit button dot on click whenever you click on the button. This is gonna be equal to an anonymous function. So it's basically just gonna do whatever code we put within here. And the code we want to do is basically going to be to gather up our expression code for whatever property we're dealing with. We're gonna grab part A and part B, inject something in the middle and then piece them back together by just squishing them. So firstly, I'll make a variable called our expression text. And in my case, I need the, uh, the expression from the opacity property. So I'm going to make this script based on the assumption you have the layer you want selected. And in order to grab it then, we're gonna say app.project.activeItem, the active composition open. And we're gonna grab all the selected layers. And to grab the very first one, we need the zero width index of an array. So this will grab for us our magenta solid. And then we need to grab the property. We need to go inside the transform group. So Adobe transform group, turn on word wrap. And then inside the transform group, which is this guy here, we have the opacity. So we'll grab the Adobe opacity and then we'll grab the dot expression. So now if I go ahead and alert uh, our expression text, 
after we've clicked on the button, we can go and click on edit and not get it. It looks like this should be selected layers. So we can try this again. Now you can see we're getting the same expression as our opacity here. Now all we need to do is get two different parts of it and then uh, put in our custom information from our edit text box and put them back together. So the first part of the text we're gonna want is everything from the beginning up till the value we're going to be providing it. So this means pretty much everything up to this multiplication sign here. So what we can do to get that first part, we'll call it just a part A. We'll also create a, a part B for later. Part A is going to be equal to our expression text and we're going to slice it. Now the slice method allows us to slice between points A and B. And these are just indices of it. So we're gonna be starting at zero and going all the way to the index where we have this asterisk here. So the way we're gonna do that is we'll say, we're gonna start at zero, the very beginning of our string. And the end point needs to be basically whatever the index is of our asterisk. Luckily, there is an easy way to get this. If you have multiple asterisks or multiple characters and you need the first one, use the index of function. If you have multiple and you need the last one, you can use the last index of. And since we just have one asterisk to worry about, uh, we don't have to matter too much about that. But we can basically just say our expression text uh, dot index of, and we want the index of the asterisk, and that will give us the actual position in the string it is. So now let's go ahead and alert our part A after we've processed it here and see what we get. You can see we get num equals transform.position1 and it's actually excluding the asterisk as well. So if we want to include it, we can just say plus one and now we should get that. So this is part A of our modified uh, expression. We now can basically take part A, add our text input, and then whatever part B is gonna be. So for part B, we need to grab uh, everything after a certain point. And in our case, we're a little bit lucky in that we have this semicolon and it's the only semicolon in this expression. So we can use that as a starting point and then get the rest of the expression below. So for part B, I'm gonna say expression text dot slice. And this time we're going to slice from our expression text and the index of our asterisk. In case I just called that an asterisk, I believe it's a semicolon, of course. So for part B, we're gonna slice the same thing, our expression text, and we're gonna start at our index of semicolon all the way to the end. The end of our string is the same as its length. So I'm gonna say expression text.length. So now let's go ahead and alert both of our parts here and see what we get. We'll see if it's ready to inject all of our information or if we need to modify anything. So if I run this, we now, as part A, get the correct thing up to our asterisk. And then part B is actually starting at our semicolon and then going on. So the same thing as before, we're gonna plus one that to get past it. Now when we alert it again, part B is now just going to be a new line. You can see there's a little space there, which is fine. And then 100 minus our num variable. So now all that's left to do is create a string that combines all of our elements together. You can do this all in one line or create a separate variable, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just uh, grab my opacity.expression and set it equal to something. And what it's gonna be equal to is our part A plus, you can say for now, part B. And in between these, we need to add our edit text text, which we can just grab our edit text dot text. And let's go ahead and see how this performs. Go ahead and change the text to something like Point 0.1, hit edit, and now you can see we are getting that, but it's uh, actually excluding the required um, semicolon, which we will actually need if we want to keep applying this. So one last thing is after part A and our edit text, we need to add a semicolon. Because otherwise, if I try to work this again, it's going to then start to mess things up a lot. So now that we've added our semicolon, we should be good to change the value. Let's try 0.1. You can see it changes to 0.1. And now we should be able to happily continue changing the value with no issue. 
And as you can see, that's going to now adjust our expression based on some input for, from our UI and also adjust the visual properties in After Effects. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to edit and update expressions with an Adobe script. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub to get updates on when we release new code. And down in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram and get other updates. If you're not a member on our Discord server, be sure to join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you want to help support the channel and become a member and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.